you don't strike me as a gentleman that's fond of public display of affection or even private display of affection. <laughs> Is this the case? Preview. Uh, uh. Bicycle. There's a lot of people in the world that, a lot of gentlemen that are, and we'll base this on your single life and your single days. Uh, You may, you may know about a term that a lot of gentlemen have never heard of. Uh, they call it a, a paymaster. No. <laughs> now, if someone was to, to reach out to you and ask you, what is the definition of this term? What would be your response? It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Well, they would also, uh, and I received an email on this, they would also like to know how could you locate, how could you identify someone that could potentially be a paymaster? The signs are there. I mean, just have to take heed to pay attention to them. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's different uh, tendencies and different signs, but, you know, if you uh been dealing with your little friend, the significant other for a week or two. And uh, he or she tells you they were at the mall earlier that day. And they were thinking about you. They saw a shirt that, that they thought that you would look good in, or they saw some shoes that uh, they just knew that you would set on fire or something. <laughs> you know, uh, odds are you may be dealing with a paymaster. <laughs> at this point, uh, do you begin, do they begin to look a little more cute to you at this time? Due to the benefits? <laughs> not going to say that they get more attractive, but, uh, <laughs> you know, the situation may get, become more attractive or more, you know. It'll make you stay around a, a little bit longer than you. It's possible, yeah. Because I know that you're a firm, firm believer in, you know, <laughs> it's hard to say this. Letting a woman <laughs> beat you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a firm believer in letting a woman do what? Now? <laughs> letting a woman uh, <laughs> beat you. <laughs> I know you have a, a pal named Kwame and. He like you and him share this uh this belief that you know if a woman beats you it's out of love. Well, no, I don't share that particular sentiment. You know, where did you get this information from? Let me see how how it was said. I may have some. Yeah, you may have you may have uh, some some words twisted around. You know, I'm a firm believer in in in, in they keep their hands to themselves and I keep my hands to myself. I'm a firm believer if I have to beat you, I don't need you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the uh, term. Uh, as I review my notes here, a woman that destroys your items could be useful in your life, such as ripping your shoes or uh, destroying your video games or something of that nature. Well, in my younger years, that was attractive. Uh, at the, the stage of the point that I'm in, uh, now in life, yeah, that, 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 that doesn't hold true so much anymore. But yeah, I believe the term that you're looking for is passion or passionate. Yeah. So like, uh, I don't need a woman to be that passionate anymore to destroy my shit or destroy items, you know? So what, what was it that, that made you see this as passion when you would see your items being destroyed? How did you identify this to be as a, an act of passion? <laughs> I mean, you know, they say it's a 
It's a thin line, as they say. And all this was done out, you know, you, you know there's certain feelings that spurn certain actions. So, therefore, hence the passionate are they're passionate about certain things. <laughs> so, so di- just them destroying your item. This at that time in your life, you knew that you should stay with this young lady and hold her closer. I don't know about holding her closer, but <laughs> you you don't strike me as a gentleman that's fond of public display of affection or even private display of affection. <laughs> Is this the case? Uh, uh, private displays. I mean. Obviously would would be fine, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big uh you know public display or, or PDA type of guy. I'm not. I, I, that, that's not me. I'm not. Him. Is this due to respect, or is this due to uh you think you might uh scare off another potential in that time in your life? No, uh, it, typically they want you more when they when when you know when when they know that you're supposedly unattainable or, or, or that you're already involved. So, so, so that, that wouldn't be the method to the madness. I guess you could just say that's just me, like my personality. But. Ah, now this is a, a theory that may scare people and you, you may have to explain this in detail. Now there's a theory that, uh, if a woman loves you, it doesn't matter the quality of your Peter. <laughs> now, some people are listening or are watching, and they may wonder, what, what does that mean? Explain this for us. Well, there's a bit of truth to that statement there. Uh, and, uh, as we've had this discussion many times, my brother, uh, you know, off camera, when a woman loves you, your dick is 12 inches or, or, or 13 inches long or whatever. When she falls out of love with you or when she's upset with you, you become this little dick motherfucker. <laughs> so. And that's just period. That's just, you know, generally, yeah, that's just period. Oh, my God. So. What about the quality of uh, of your stroke game? Would you have to, uh, while she's in love with you, would you have to break your own back trying to prove your point? Or you just prove your point by rolling over? <laughs> completing little, your afternoon unconscious? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. I mean, you, you, you have to put it down at some point in time. Where, I mean, maybe when it's fresh or when it's new or... Here in that special occasions, uh, Valentine's Day, uh, her birthday, uh, you know, things like that, uh, putting it down is required. But uh, in my experience, uh, the times that you don't put it down or whatever, I mean, if she loves you, she understands. And a lot of times the woman think, you, you, you know, the woman tends to think that it's on them or it's their fault or they did something wrong. 